everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. So today I'm going to talk about a command pattern. It's a design pattern, uh, which is a part of a behavioral design pattern. Um, so I just wanted to put across a very simple uh, definition, which I found on uh, Wikipedia. So according to this pattern, right, objects um, are used to uh, encapsulate all the information needed to perform an action or trigger an event at a later time. Right? An invoker object uh, knows how to execute a command and optionally does book uh, bookkeeping about uh, command execution. That's uh, pretty much about a ver the definition about it. Um, if you wanted to know, there's another definition which uh, uh, I've read somewhere that says the command pattern uh, is a data-driven design pattern and falls under behavior pattern, as I mentioned. Right? A, a request is wrapped around that an object as command and pass to invoker object, right? An invoker object looks for the appropriate objects which can handle this command and pass this command to the corresponding object which executes the command, right? So in, in, in simple terms, right, it actually encapsulates the actions behind the scene. So the invoker doesn't have to know what's happening behind the scene, right? So that's a pretty much simple stuff. So what are we going to do? <clears throat> uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to implement this using Apex. Uh, I took this example from a Java code, uh, one of the design pattern uh, in Java. So I want, uh, so you can uh, pretty much use the same concept in C++ and Java or in C Sharp, right? Um, so since I'm talking uh, specifically uh, about Salesforce, so I would like to uh, do this using Apex because I haven't seen much design pattern uh, talking about Apex out there. So, uh, so I'm going to do that, right? Um, so the first thing first, you need to log into an org, right? So if you do not have an org, uh, so you can register one for uh, it's free. So I talk zillions of times about it, right? Okay, so. So I'm in my org now. I logged into my org. So this is how, you know, uh, when you log in, it will take you to set up by default, uh, depending upon the time of the year you're watching this uh, episode, right? Okay. So I'm going to go to developer console. You can go to the guest uh, icon here on the top right, top right hand corner, and you can go to developer console. Uh, by all means, if you're using uh, Visual Studio Code, you can do that as well. Right, uh, it, it, it's great. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm not a big fan of developer console, but for demonstration, it's nice and easy. You don't have to install any tool, right? So, okay, all right. So, I'm in my developer console. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a scenario, right? So, think about a scenario, right? About a brewing, right? I presume most of them, most of you guys out there, likes to drink beer, right? So, let's say the purpose of the uh, brewery uh, got two purpose, right? Uh, we are talking uh, specifically in terms of beer drinking. So uh, to brew uh, beer and sell beer, right? So we're going to do these two actions using command patterns. So that's exactly what we're going to do uh, as a, uh, to explain this, right? Something, sounds interesting. If you wanted to grab a uh, you know beer, you're welcome to do so while watching this episode, right? Cool. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to create an interface, which is a base interface, right? So I'm uh, going to do to new um, you know, Apex class. So let's say I, uh, I uh, brew, right? I brew, right? I brew stuff, right? So, or I brew beer interface, right? And um, <clears throat> it just takes a few seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna change this to interface, right? And I'm gonna add a method here. So that is called void execute, right? So this is the, the, the base method. Um, so which we will implement using our uh, the base class, right? Okay. So now we're gonna create a um, a a class, right? So which is called uh, brew beer class, right? Um. So which is a a standalone, which won't do pretty much anything. It contains the two two methods here, right? So public uh, void <coughs> brew. Yeah, brew beer sounds good. Okay, and so system.debug, uh, so brew beer, right? This are, these are the dummy methods just to uh, show you what I'm doing. So another one is to sell beer, right? Once you uh, brew a beer, you got to sell them as well because you're a brewery, right? <coughs> sell beer. Okay, um, so, uh, so we're going to do system.debug. Uh, you can use, uh, you know, business logic 
uh, you know, whatever you wanted to do here. Uh, so, but for simplicity, I'm just uh, demonstrating using system.debug, right? Okay, so uh, cell beer, so that's just pretty much. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, uh, once let us save, so we're gonna implement two classes, first is to the brew class, right? Um, so one is that um, we're gonna do brew a beer main, okay? So that's the class we're gonna do. And uh, so we're gonna write a, so what we do, we're gonna create a constructor for this, okay? Um, so the constructor gonna be uh, create this one, okay? And just gonna do this, okay? And we're gonna do uh, take this class name here. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute what I'm trying to do here. Uh, so br, okay? And just gonna do brew beer, a br, right? Okay. Uh, this dot br equals to uh, so this is private, right, okay, <clears throat> um, ABR, okay, let's save this, then we haven't finished yet, okay, okay, so this is the basic skeleton code, but this is not enough, because this is just a standard class, which doesn't make any sense, right, so what we have to do, we have to uh, implement uh, this interface, that is, uh, you know, I, uh, I, Brew, uh, I, ugh, come on. I brew beer, right? And to save it, it will give give you an error saying that you have to implement the other interface. Okay, <clears throat> so copy this, okay? And it's gonna do, um, so I'm gonna do public, right? I'm just gonna do void, execute, okay? So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna execute uh, since it's a brewing, right? So I'm gonna ex execute uh, br, okay? Br dot uh, this method, right? Because what? So, so if you remember, I talked about encapsulating uh, commands, right? So this is exactly what we're doing. So I created a class which whose main purpose is just to brew the beer, right? And that's exactly what I did here. So in an execute event, right, which is a command. So uh, when you call this brew beer main, right, it just does one stuff. That's a brewing the beer. So that's all we're interested into. Okay. So, and I passed the constructor, uh, sorry, a params to a constructor, which is the brew beer, uh, in, uh, instance of a brew beer, and then assigned to a local stat, a local variables, right? Uh, private, which is private, uh, in terms of access. Um, so, yeah, and I've used that uh, instance of that uh, brew beer object to call the brew beer method. That's pretty much. So now, similarly, we got to do this for cell beer as well. So as you can uh, already make out from this uh, this class, we need to create another class which does the selling stuff, right? So <clears throat> we're going to do new. Okay. I know it's a little bit confusing, but uh, stay with me. I mean, it's it's very popular uh, design pattern out there. Like I said, it's a behavioral pattern. So yeah, it will be useful depending upon the scenario, right? <clears throat> um, sell beer main, okay. And, right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy exactly the same, all of it, okay. Exactly the same, right? And let me delete this one, okay? Now, the only difference you have to do here is um, just do the, 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 the uh, instance cell beer, okay? Um, so this example is a bit strange. Um, oh, sorry, the constructor needs to be the same as well. So uh, in this example, right? So you need to uh, understand one thing, right? Um, this is this is one of the you know my, you might think it's the weirdest example, but think about a very classic one that's out there, like a menu option, where you can do open, where you can do edit, where you can do save, right? So in that scenario, command pattern is very useful. You might find fifty uh, examples out there. You know, most of them, uh, most of the Java examples I've seen associated with the menu items, right? Where you have um, open uh, event, where you have edit event, then you have save event, then you undo event. Right and you know file copy whatever right so so this is one of the things so these 
events, right? The cell beer, brew beer, these are separate events, right? Which is executed using a command. That's exactly what we're doing here, okay? Right, so now what we have to do, so since we um, implemented uh, these two classes, we're gonna uh, implement a, a sort of a middle layer. Uh, in Java, they call it as a broker class or something like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so we're gonna call it as a, let's say, <clears throat> I call it as a middle layer class. Okay, uh, you can give a meaningful name, whatever you want, okay? So this one actually, uh, will hide the um, the details behind the scene, right? So, uh, well, this is you can call directly, but this is you know one of the cleanest way you can do it. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do private. Okay. Uh, list of um, interface, right? This one. Okay. And then I'm gonna do so list of interface. I brew. You know, sorry, brew list. Right equals to new. Uh, list of um, this interface okay so this is uh, what we actually uh, so this will store a list of iBrew so now what we're gonna do so we're gonna have a um, a, a method that's called public um, void uh, process uh, process brew process uh, brew and set right okay so what we're gonna do so in this we will um <clears throat> we will pass in um the the, the list of um this is called well you know what you just don't have to have this private variable so just let's keep it simple right what to complicate it so i'm gonna do i brew and uh, let me copy this class here <clears throat> okay so and we can just say be a uh, be a list, okay? And so this is our um, for loop. We're gonna do the for loop here, right? So what we're gonna do? So we will actually execute the stuff here behind the scenes. So what we're gonna do for, okay? Um, I prayer, and so we just say IB, and we're just gonna do be a list, okay? And so all we have to do. Um, so IB dot execute right. Uh, one of the advantage of um, the Apex is case insensitive, so insensitive. I mean, it's not sensitive like uh, C sharp, right? So it makes it life much easier. I mean, it makes it easier at the same time. So I mean, no offense. Okay, so I'll create a very very simple middle layer. So where, I'm, where I say, oh look, I wanted to process brew and sell, right? Okay, so let's create the final class. Uh, so we, we don't have to do any more uh, final class. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna go to uh, a debug uh, anonymous window. So what we do, so we're gonna close this, okay? So now here, I'm gonna demonstrate how to actually call this one, um, the method here. So let's go to, let me create this, uh, first of all, list of, you know, what's this called? Uh, not this one. Um, I brewer, okay, um, and so we can say I B equals to new, right? Okay, let me sorry, let me maximize this so that you can see what I'm trying to do, okay? All right, so we're gonna create the list of it, and then now we create an individual instance of this one, okay? Um, so before that, I'm just gonna create this brew beer be equals to no uh my apologies for the the variable names so if you, if you find it offensive so my apologies for that you can you know do better variable name uh since this is a um a demo so i just you know but in real life i normally don't use the variable name like this because it doesn't make sense right okay so so what i've done right so i created a a list of you know i brewer i brew beer uh, interfaces so which is like collection that's where I'm gonna hold objects right and then I've created this individual um, instance of this brew beer class right and then I have created uh, this brew beer main and then passed the the, the brew beer uh, object as a uh, as a constructor right parameterized constructor whatever you call and then I'm gonna do the same for the cell okay 
So, right, so we're going to do SM equals to new uh, S, okay, so we're going to do B, okay. Now, it's not done yet, so um, we're going to do, so let's say, um, so you can actually public static, uh, let me see if I can do static here. <coughs> Okay, so just to be, I mean, I don't want to create too many instances here. So, um, so now what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do ib dot add. So you're gonna do bm, okay, and uh, ib dot add. We're gonna do sm, right? So it's pretty straightforward, right? I mean, what I've done was that I created uh, instance of these two uh, objects and then added two collection. Okay, now we're gonna call the middle layer class now, which is you know pretty straightforward. And I'm going to do process and sell. Okay. And then I'm going to do IB. Okay. And that's all it is. Right. Now we're going to run it and let's see what happens. And I'll explain to you a little bit more. Okay. So we got brew beer and sell beer. Right. So you see what happens behind the scene. Right. I'm actually. So in this uh, window, I'm actually. <clears throat> so. Uh, so all it's doing is, right, this process of beer, it's just saying ib.execute, right, in this for loop. So, I mean, I'm not hard coding anything behind the scene. I'm not specifically telling to the to this middle layer, oh, you look, this is a beer main class or this is a cell beer class. You can have other classes as well, right? So you can have, uh, you know, another one. So and the beauty is, let's say you have everything built, something like this, right, okay? And now I don't want to touch this middle layer class, right? It should not know if you add another one, right? So let me give you another example. Let's say a management decided, okay, let me close this one. Let's say a company decided we have brew beer, we have sell beer. Uh, we need to have one more option that's called uh, as the sell cider. For some reason, uh, you know, brewery decided to sell the cider. So, okay. So uh, what we're going to do, so all you have to do, one simple thing here, go here, right? I'm going to do public void cell cider, right? And it's going to do okay, system dot debug cell cider, okay? All right, so we need to chain this one, this is the main one, right? And then we need to create another class which is called as <coughs> cell cider main, okay? And all we have to do so we go to the cell beer here and uh, let me copy this one because it's, you know I don't want it to type you know too many things. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna change this class to here. Okay. And so and then we're gonna go here and cell cider. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Okay. All right, let's save it. <laughs> okay, now, right? I'm not touching my middle layer class. Okay? It got nothing to do with what you do behind the scene, right? Because I, what should I care as a middle layer class, right? I have this method called IB.execute. So it should does whatever it's supposed to do, right? So what I have to do in the calling uh, side, right? All I have to do, I'm just, just going to do a, a cell cider, right? And so you're going to do a CM, right? SCM, right? Cell cider, okay? New, uh, okay? Just going to do this and just gonna pass B okay and then all I have to do IB dot add okay now SCM right that's it nothing much okay now run it <clears throat> so what happens is middle middle layer class will do whatever it's supposed to do because it's a uh, everything is encapsulated right so here we'll see it will do the Cell cider as well. So see, this is pretty handy, right? That's why I said, you know, a lot of classic examples out there where they talk about the menu items, right? You talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you know, uh, open, close and kind of stuff, right? So yeah, that's that's pretty much I wanted to talk about it today, right? So I am I decided that, you know, I'll, I'll do more design patterns. So, and my apologies, I'm not creating... Uh, videos as often as I used to do before. Um, so I have planned to do more design patterns. And after that, my plan is to start a Einstein certification series, right? So yeah, that being said, uh, you know, I hope you like this video. So thank you very much for joining with me today. Uh, so greetings and ideas from New Zealand. Take care. Bye-bye.